what is up guys i've got another deck profile for you here today it's going to be a cosmo artifact build guys before i get into this don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you want to see next subscribe to my channel for more great content and if you enjoy this video make sure to leave a like show me some love guys so let's get straight into it so we've got the standard kind of cosmo lineup so we play one dark eclipse art it's a, it's a nice card to have but the reason why you only really play one is because he's not super important to the strategy he's just a nice extra beater and he's got a nice trap spell trap negate effect but i'm sorry not spell trap just trap card effect, um, effect negate which is nice which is not once per turn as well but unfortunately he does not float which is why we only want to play him at one he's not super crucial but he's nice to have three dark destroyer best card in archetype non-target will when a special summon it pops the card and then it floats down into another card which is wonderful four runner again non-targetable he gains you lp and then he will float slip rider is really good this is how we're going to be making our cyber dragon infinities and our other rank fives really good card spell or trap destruction so him and dark destroyer often what you're going to do if you want to destroy a spell or trap is you make dark destroyer make it destroy itself and then just float down the slip rider which is going to be great and you don't mind destroying your dark destroyer because it's very easy to get back to your hand then moving on from that to dark lady dark lady is really good she is our monster negate and she's only once per copy not hard once per turn so you can have two of her on the film that is two negates per turn that is wonderful then we have the artifacts oh actually let's carry on with the cosmo card so then we have three cosmo wicked witch again the reason why we play three wicked witch in this variant and the reason why we play higher numbers of the dark ones again in general is because we are playing three allure so wicked witch is nice she's just a nice wall to have in the deck she'll cause problems for your opponent then farm girl farm girl is very good for facilitating otk so we play one farm girl all the lower cosmos obviously the pilots are going to be able to banish themselves to special summon a bigger cosmo from the hand which is what makes them so good but yeah we have farm girl who in the battle step obviously she can search any cosmo card which is nice straw man is going to be your way of one of your ways of recycling your banished cosmos because you can special summon them and then pop them and they'll float again which is amazing then three tin can which is the start of the deck this card is slowly becoming less and less good as sort of time goes on back in the day it was an amazing card for the archetype but it's just a lot weaker now it's a bit too slow because it does search in the end phase but we still play three of him for now cosmo you never know cosmo may receive support which may make tinkan obsolete but anyway yeah we do play three of him then we're gonna play three a law obviously we do need a law for that draw power and we are going to play three cosmo town cosmo town a very very strong field spell in its time it's probably one of the best field spells ever made it was it's just a really good so the first effect obviously is you will turn a banished cosmo card to the hand you will lose lp equal to its original level but that does not matter that much then you can mulligan by shuffling cosmo monsters back into your deck and then if it's destroyed by card effect you can search a cosmo card and none of these effects are once per turn this card is amazing so yeah obviously if you see it one of the things you're going to do a lot of the time as well is you're going to activate the first one return a banished card activate another one return a banished card and just use that to shuffle through your deck which is great so yeah this is a really nice field spell we do like having it at three then we're going to play three two cosmodro sorry this card is really really nice because it's non-targeting non-destructive removal which is always good so you're going to destroy one of your cosmos which you don't mind doing because that's going to gain you some value and then you're going to banish a card your opponent controls which is also great we don't mind doing that either so that's our cosmo cards then let's move on to the artifact package so we play two scythe two morella touch and one lancia now these ratios specifically can change scythe is probably the only one you're going to always have in your main deck but these can really switch around depending on what you need but yeah these are really really good cards so obviously the, the the real kind of advantage of the artifact engine in this deck is twofold the first thing is obviously you have a lot of ways to destroy spells or traps in your cosmo deck which is really really good and then on top of that these artifacts also destroy spells and traps which is good for your cosmo side as well so there's just a lot of synergy between the two archetypes as a result of that then you're going to play two artifact ignition this card is great so it destroys a spell or trap and then sets an artifact monster from your deck so you're either going to be destroying your own cosmo times with this to get free search off that or you'll be destroying your artifacts with it so either or both of them work very well and then two sanctum you can bump this up to three and maybe take the cosmojo down to one and it's a similar thing you really the idea is you're just going to tutor an artifact card directly out of your deck and then from there obviously it's going to activate its effect so you can lock your opponent out of the extra deck you can pop a card they control or you can stop them from banishing so sanctum is a really 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 good card to have in this deck again 
Then moving on that, we just have some of our utility cards. So we're gonna play an emergency teleport because it's amazing. It gets any Cosmo, um, any Cosmo pilot you want out of the deck apart from Wicked Witch, which we don't really care that much about her anyway. Then you're gonna be playing two back to the front. Now again, Cosmos like being special summoned. So really just as many ways to kind of special summon them for free is going to be useful. So two back to the front as a really, really strong card. Two Storm Dragons return. This card is also insane for Cosmos because you have so many banished cards all the time. So the ability to bring on those banished cards back out and then from there you can return it to hand the end phase if you didn't end up using is amazing so storm dragon's return a very very good card for this deck as well so that is the main deck very simple main deck there's really not a lot to it moving on from that let's go into the extra so we start off with one dagda dagda is a really really nice lane monster so what it's going to do is when you act when any card or effect is activated you can set an artifact from the deck and then destroy it in the end phase but you're not usually going to wait for that what you're almost certainly always going to do is just pop it yourself with something like an ignition or a slip rider and then if it's destroyed itself it special sums the artifact from your graveyard in defense position which is lovely so dagda is a really nice lane monster and this a lot of time will be what you're trying to make on your first turn then we have our are nightmare cards which are very easy to make in this deck obviously topologic trispana and topologic zero boris again we can make and proc these cards super easy and we don't care about acting them topologic trispana it doesn't matter that much if you banish your own spell traps it's probably going to hurt your opponent more and you're going to use this in specific matchups anyway so it's those alter guys those old lich matchups those are the kind of matchups you're going to want to be making Tris Bana and then resolving her. Moving on from that, we have Zero Boris for a similar reason to just kind of nuke the abort opponent's board and then lock them out of their of Link Summoning. And then also we have a lot of banished cards, so it's very easy to get this to quite high attack values. And then we have Axis Code and Boral Sword. So again, whatever you can afford is what you should play. I wouldn't play both. I'm just having them both here to demonstrate that it's kind of useful to have either Axis Code or Boral Sword. Boral Sword Dragon in your deck. They're both very good for kind of ending the game. Moving on from that, we have Cyber Dragon Nova and Infinity. Very nice card to have in this deck because it's very easy to summon. Then we have Artifact Durandal. So this is an old but good card. Um, the first effect is that you can essentially change one of your opponent's monster's effects to destroy one of your spell or traps. So this is really good because you're firstly basically negating their effect. And secondly, you're going to pop one of your spell or traps, which is either going to get you a search or it's going to special summon one of your artifacts, which is lovely. Then you can also mulligan both of your, um, you can also mulligan both of your hands. So obviously you're not always going to win or use the second effect. The best time to use this is when you have a bunch of cards and they don't, because then they're only going to get one new card, but you're going to get that three or four new cards. So Durandal is a nice card to have and it requires any two level fives as well. So you can make it with your artifacts or you can make it with your artifacts and your cosmos. It's really whatever you have. Then we have Super Poly Targets. This deck doesn't really care that much about its extra deck, so we can really stuff it to the brim of Super Solid Poly Targets. So you've got Mud Dragon, Windar, Dragon Step Elliot, Starving Venom, and Drago Necro Nether Soul. This card is particularly good because it deals with Eldritch quite well. What one of the problems with Eldritch is once they lose their Golden Lord, obviously they lose a lot of their ability to interact with you. So you could actually use this, then now they suddenly have lost their Eldritch and they won't be able to interrupt you because if they don't have their Golden Lord in the field, they can't use use their trap effects they can use their traps but they will just special summon they won't use their secondary effects which is very nice so we do like that card then going into the side deck we have three sphere mode a great card in this format as usual three lightning storm three dark green and no more three super poly obviously from the super poly targets and three anti-magic arrows so yeah pretty standard deck profile guys this deck is really really good um i would say one of the main weaknesses you probably have to this deck um this is why i only have one lance in the main deck is cards like lancia cards like lancia will really slow you down and your first turn can be a bit slow if you don't see something like cosmo town or tin can early on however once you get into the game the amount of grind potentially you have and disruption is really good so this is a really really good deck to work with so guys that was my cosmo artifact deck profile if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment let me know what you want to see next and subscribe to the channel for more great content i'll talk to you all soon